Claus sticks. Hi, Grandma. I was wondering, do you have Santa Claus's number? Could you give it to me? Uh, Dr. Taurus, why would I have Santa Claus's number? Get out of my face with that nonsense. Um, because you've been living so long, so I'm pretty sure you got his number. Well, if you don't want to give me the phone number, could you call him and inform him that I've been very good this year? You know what I'm going to tell him? I'm going to tell him you be eating nothing but sausage biscuits this whole year. You've been arguing with your sister Ariola. You're probably already on the naughty list. <laughs> what? I don't argue with Ariola. Honestly, we have conversations that leads to disagreements. If anyone has been naughty, it's definitely been you and your young tenderoni, Mr. Gout. First off, baby, I don't need Santa Claus, St. Nick, the Jolly Man. I don't need none of that. I got Jesus. Jesus gives me everything that I need. Well, could you call Jesus on the main line and tell him what I want? Now, nah, now, nah, Clitoris, please, get out of my face. I was in here. I wouldn't bother nobody. I was minding my own being and watching my Steve Harvey. I'm getting so depressed being in this house. I feel like you never loved me. The hell with you. Uh, uh, hey, Rudolph, this is, uh, May Goodhead. Um, is Santa Claus available to speak with me? Uh-huh. Hey, St. Nick, um, this is May Goodhead. I just want to call and tell you that, uh, my grandbaby Clitoris, uh-huh, she been very disrespectful, and I don't think she need no gifts this year. Uh-huh. All right, now. He say he ain't bringing you shit. You're really going to call Santa Claus on me? But you lied. You said you didn't have his number. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in the room, put my face in the pillow, and I'm going to scream very loud. Well, never mind. The last time I did that, a roach actually came out. So you know what I'm going to do, grandmother? I'm going to walk away before I say some more cussing words to you.